Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hi, Veronica. Good evening. How's it going? Okay, guys, can you hear me? Hi. <laughs> yes, hi. Veronica, you remind me of a previous student I had. Her name was Yvette. Okay. Yvette. Yeah, but no, you're not Yvette. Oh my God. I was like, wait. <laughs> Nuria. I know Nuria, I think. Okay. Salmon, welcome. Okay, we are 12. Jasmine, welcome. Good evening. Nuria, hi. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Okay, guys. Welcome to our first day on Intermediate 3. Is this your first day? On English classes? Sorry. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna make you a question. Um, did you watch the video? Did you watch the video on the WhatsApp group? No. Yeah, no? Okay. No teacher, I didn't, sorry. It's okay, that was my introduction. You saw it, Veronica, okay. That was my introduction so you can get to know me. My name is Rafael Rodriguez, well, Rafael Linares. Everybody knows me as Rafael Linares here in English Corporativo. Okay, I have been teaching for six years um, English and I have worked at call centers for 14 years, long time. I actually learned English by myself since I was seven years old. Give me one second, I have an intruder. So today I would like to start this session with you um, making a question. How's it going? Can somebody answer that question? How's it going? Okay. No volunteer. A victim. Let me see. <laughs> Let's break the ice with the person who smiles the best. The best smile. Okay, Veronica, hi. Good. How's it going? Tell us about yourself. Mm, I am architect. <laughs> no, <laughs> English. <laughs> I have 42 years old. Mm, I work actually in Cerro Verde. I am happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You work at Cerro Verde? Yeah. In like uh, rebuilding, rebuilding in Cerro Verde? The hotel. The hotel, yeah, you're building the hotel. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> construction. That's construction, yeah. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Mm, I live in Santana. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm from Santana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I have two daughters. Daughters? Mm-hmm. And a cat and a dog. <laughs> and a husband. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, a cat Single. And a, dog. A, Single. a cat and a dog, but not a husband. Okay. Good. No. <laughs> Good. Nice to meet you, Veronica. Uh, okay. Uh, let me find the correction here. One second. Okay. Repeat. I'm an architect. You forgot the article. I'm an architect okay mm -hmm. there you go open the chat guys always keep the chat open if you are on the computer 
open the chat. Okay, I'm an architect. Repeat, I'm an architect. I'm an architect. You go, I'm an architect. You have good pronunciation, actually. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go with the ladies first. Eleonora Hernandez. Okay, how's it going? ¿Cómo le va? How's it going? Oh, we cannot hear her. Okay. We have audio. Okay, we have problems with the microphone. Okay. I'm going to the right side. Reyes Rojas. Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> yes. Uh, my name is Reyes Rojas. Reyes de Jesus Rojas. Oh, okay. Tell us. I live in San, I live in San Salvador. I work for BNB. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm a supervisor. Mm -hmm. And I have I have a one daughter. daughter. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay, repeat daughter. Da daughter. 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 There you go, daughter. Daughter, daughter. Daughter. Okay, good. Okay, I want you to tell me as well, guys. Did you study English before this course? Okay. Janet Ayala Castillo or Castellanos? Castillo, okay. Oh, we can hear you. Okay. As well, you're having problems with the audio. You can check the audio before you go. Oh, there you go. Uh, you can listen now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay. Um, my name is Janet Ayala. I have a uh, 34 years old, living in San Salvador. I'm a teacher. Um, in my school, uh, I have a coordination. So um, I'm really happy for being in this class tonight. Excellent. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, guys, my job is to make sure that if you have an area of improvement, you know what is an area of improvement? Yes? Okay, I have to help you to correct that area of improvement. I don't like to call it mistakes or errors, errors, no, I don't like these words. It's areas of improvement, okay? So you say, I have 32 years old, and lo voy a estar equipando a todos, eh? A todos, porque todos tienen que participar y ese es el punto, tienen que hablar. Aquí van a perder el miedo, equivocarse, y necesito que exageren su pronunciación, so, aunque le tengan una cario o un frijol en los dientes, que no les importe, ahorita necesito que exageren, ¿ok? Good. We have a deal. Deal. Okay. So, okay. can somebody help me? How do you say that? I have 32 years old. How do you say that? Um, I have to leave. Somebody, somebody. I am. I am. There you 30... go, Nuria. Thank you. I'm 32 years old. You use the verb to be. I'm 32 years old. I'm writing Y O J years old. Okay. I'm 32 years old. Okay. Uh, oh, I wrote it. No, you escrito ahí. Okay. 32 years old. I have a coordination. You mean that your position at the school is a coordinator? I'm a coordinator, right? Okay. Again, again, the verb to be. I'm a, I am a coordinator. Coordinator. Mm -hmm. There you go. I am a coordinator. I'm a coordinator. Coordinator. Very good. Great job. Let's go now with Ronald Oswaldo. Hello. Good evening. Um, I'm Ronald and I live in Huachapan City. Um, I am graduating in advertising and public relations, and I work in international justice mission like an advisor. Uh, international justice mission is an international cooperation organization. 
I am uh, 38 years old. And I don't know about more. Very good. Oh my God, Ronald. Oh, yeah. Great job. So you're about to graduate from international relations or do you do work in an organization, right? Both. Both. Oh my God, congratulations. Yeah. My respects. That's awesome. Great <laughs> job. Hey, no. good, good. Don't stop talking, guys. Always. If you are make a if somebody makes you a question, try to talk, 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 talk a lot. Hey, Nuria. Hello, hello everybody. Nice to see you, Ronald. He's my coworker. <laughs> awesome. I, I, <laughs> nice to see you uh, too. Nice to see you. I am uh, and nice to see you, Veronica, because I'm from Santa Ana City. And it was a surprise for me to know that it was in construction, a building in Cerro Verde. I didn't I didn't know I didn't know that. But hotel. it's an it's a news for me, a new hotel there. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, my name is Nuria Lopez. I'm living in Santa Ana City. I work for International Justice Mission. It's a nonprofit organization. Uh, I'm a teacher too. I actually, I'm teaching for Universidad Tecnológica and for Franz Jose Matias Delgado University. But uh, I'm a teaching online course. Okay, so you're teaching online courses. Online courses, okay. Um, for but what what are you teaching? Other subjects or English? And no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm a teacher, a, a, a subjects for a, a master for, degree. A master degree. Oh my God! In business, I guess. Yeah, it's yeah in in the in the. University in the Tecnológica University or Universidad Te Te Tecnológica sería, ¿verdad? Español, ¿verdad? Yeah, don't okay. translate proper names. Proper names don't are not translated to, to English. So you okay. can say Universidad Tecnológica, yeah. In the, univers in the Universidad Tecnológica, I usually teach two subjects. Its names are a bank administration. Okay and li liquidity risk. Okay, risk, risk of liquidity. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, okay. Li liquidity <laughs> risk, and, and in the university, Jose Matias Delgado, I'm actually teaching a subject, its names are financial risk. Financial risks, awesome. Numbers, love that. Yeah, love <laughs> a lot awesome. of numbers. <laughs> I, I teach accounting too. And that for, oh, really? yeah, so para mí, jóvenes de alto riesgo acá en uh, Salvador. That's okay. a great, it's a great opportunity. Great job. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. Marilyn, okay, vamos a volar un poco. Marilyn, good evening. Hi, guys. My name is Marilyn Gutierrez. I am from in Quetzaltepeque. I live in, with my son. I have what pet. Uh, I am a student. Only. That's it. Okay. Remember, don't say only that. You have to say that's it. Okay. You have to say that's it. That's it. Repeat. That's it. That's it. And that's it. That's all. And that's about it. And that's about it. Okay. Uh, Nuria, let's work with ch 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 and sh 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 ch 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 ch. Okay. Teaching. So use teacher. 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 Okay, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. 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 Okay. You say t-shirt? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teaching. 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 Okay. Teaching. Teaching. Ching, ching, ching. Teaching. Okay. Teaching. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Marlene, nice to meet you. Great job. Sofia Portillo. Hi. Uh, my name is Sofia Portillo. I'm 41 years old. I'm from San Salvador. I work in Pan American Logistic Group in Custom Operations. Um, that's it. <laughs> Perfect. No corrections. Great job. Let me see who was after you. I have Juan Hernandez. Juan Hernandez. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. 
so I, I am, my name is Juan Hernandez. I work in Ishke, El Salvador, in Santa Elena. I live in the world of Colón with my wife, my son, my daughter. Um, also, that's it. That's it, no. okay. Have you studied English before? Uh, yeah, I, I studied. Were you an intermediate too? Intermediate too? Yes. Intermediate. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, Juan. Thank you. Nice I you. have Rudy Moreira now. Hello. Um, my name is Rudy. I am 27 years old. I am married and I work in the text of field, uh, how to programmers of production. And I am happy in this class, first class, and that's it. Excellent, very good. Okay, really quick, repeat. I work. I, I work. At text to fill. At text to fill. Repeat, I work at text to fill. I work at text to fill. There you go. Repeat. First. Fair. Listen. First. Fair. First. Look at the chat. Look at the chat, Rudy. Okay. okay. That's the pronunciation. First. 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 You got it. First. Thank you. Fair. Nice to meet you, Rudy. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, we have Vanessa Martinez. Hi, um, my name is Vanessa, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm 26 years old and I'm an agent, I'm an agent sorry, of customer service. I work in Trans Network and that's it. I live in San Salvador and I live with my parents. Perfect. A good pronunciation, Vanessa. Either, do you work in English? Uh, not really, but I like it. I guess your tools are on English, right? At your job. Yes, some. Some of the tools. Awesome. A yes. good, good pronunciation. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs> Who else do we have after her? Ronald Stanley. And then we have Boris and then Noe. Hi, teacher. <laughs> My name is Ronald Garcia. I am 30 years old. Uh, I work in Sky Solution for Digicel. Digicel. Uh, I am live in Soyapango. Um, my favorite my favorite place is okay, the campo. <laughs> the countryside, okay. Good. Nice to meet you, Ronald. And uh, remember, you say I live in Soyapango, okay? I live. Okay, I live in Soyapango. Good. I know you're nervous. Don't worry, guys. It's our first day. Very good. Nice to meet you, Ronald. Who's next? What is? Hi. Good night, everybody. My name is Boris Castillo. I am 28 years old, and I work in a different company. And I like it. I like the English. It's called English. Excellent. Nice to meet you, Boris. There's an echo. There's some echo on your background, I guess, because of the headsets, right? There's oh. some, some echo, okay? okay <laughs> but we can hear you. We can hear you, Boris. 
Okay, nice to meet you, Boris. Is that you, Noe? Noah, is that you? Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> well, introduce yourself, Noah. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher Rafa. Nice to meet you. Um, I am Noel Linares. I'm from Lourdes, Colón, La Libertad. I work in Catholic school. Um, I am happy <laughs> because I, I am here with everybody. Yes? Excellent, Noah. I'm sorry, I, I confused you with another Noah, maybe, right? Cannot oh. distinguish. Were you with me before? <laughs> Yes. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. just a. Yeah. <laughs> you, you was my teacher. I was your teacher four yes. years ago. Yes. Yes. I remember. Okay. Thank you. Good, good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. Marilyn. Yeah, Marilyn is done, right? No. <laughs> yes. Okay. Who's next? Wait a minute. I have Marilyn. You moved. <laughs> Sofia is done. We have Hector Guevara. We only have six more minutes for this activity. Hector Guevara. Hello, teacher and classmate. Good evening. About me, my name is Hector. I'm 23 years old. I'm a developer, a software developer. And I'm from Lourdes, Colón. And that's all. That's it. Very good. Okay. Repeat software. 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 Look. Software. Software. There you go. Software. Software. There you go. I'm a software developer. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, Hector Guevara. That was Hector, right? Elgar Perez. Yeah. Elgar. <laughs> Can hear you. Okay. Okay, guys. It's raining and some of you may be losing the connection as well. Okay. Remind me tomorrow, everybody, Hector, I'm sorry, Edgar, Salomon Aguirre, Vladi Rodriguez, Rafael Escobar, Nidia de Dominguez, and Beatriz, I think, what's her name? She just got disconnected and Delmi Hernandez. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow, you're going to introduce yourselves, okay? Let's continue, let's move on. So we can talk about today's topic. Okay, on your platform, make sure you have access to your platform because we're gonna be using the platform on every single class. So I will share my screen with you. Please pay attention to the video, okay, listen. Hi, welcome to another module. This time we'll study passive with by. But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scramble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. 
Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make Okay, let's see who can unscramble that sentence. And that's active voice, by the way. My sister wrote. Okay, good, Hector. My sister wrote this book in 2010. Perfect. My sister wrote this book in 2010. Let's see. Okay. That should be the answer. Let's see. Great. My sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by, in 2010, written, was. Okay, same thing, you have 20 seconds. How do you unscramble that sentence? This is passive voice. This book was written by, by my sister in 2010. <laughs> Perfect. This is simple, this is very easy. And this yes. book was written by my sister in 2010. There you go. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book, it was my sister. This book was written by my sister. This book is the object, was, was or were, Written is the past participle of the verb, by, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember, we don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Okay, I will pause the video just for one second. Can somebody explain this in Spanish if you want, but let me make sure that you got it. Do you understand the three uses? Can somebody tell me? Anybody? Come on, guys. Es más, hablemos en español por un segundo porque esto es gramática y la gramática es, desde mi perspectiva y mi experiencia, es más um, absorbible o digerible en tu propio idioma, ¿sí? Eso en español. Yeah. ¿Qué entendieron de estos es, tres usos? Ajá, Ronald. La primera es cuando, cuando no sabemos quién hace la acción. ¿Quién la hizo, no? En este ejemplo. ¿Quién, Ajá. ¿Quién la hizo, perdón? Sí, ¿Quién uh -huh. la hizo? Esa es el uno. Entonces, sería, ¿cómo sería en español esa oración? Alguien se metió en la casa el viernes. Prácticamente no tiene una traducción textual. Recuerden, en inglés no es textualmente traducible al español. ¿Ok? Te, tú, tú le das la interpretación que mejor te, te parezca se de acuerdo a tu conocimiento en español. Increíble, ¿eh? Pero en base a tu conocimiento en español así vas a traducir también. So, uh -huh. alguien se metió en mi casa el viernes. Y si lo tradujeses textual, diría, mi casa fue uh, rompida en el viernes. O sea, no tendría sentido si lo intentas, ¿ok? So, la idea es, a este punto, tú agarras una oración en inglés y la traducís en tu mente con tu propio léxico, ¿sí? Very good. Ok, thank you, Ronald. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más en español? ¿Qué es la, el segundo uso de la voz pasiva? Teacher, ¿podría explicar cómo debo de traducir do, do, doer, door? 
Ah, el hechor. Hechor. Oh, ah, ok, ok. Sí, porque no puedo decir el hacedor, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, ok, ok. El que hace, Nuri. Eh, sí, el que hace. Sí, Ajá. yo lo busqué en Google, pero aparece hacedor. Ajá. En serio. Ajá. Ajá. Es hombre, que debe estar en español vuestro Google. ¿eh? Ok, Nuri. Ha de estar en castellano el, el Google. ¿Qué entendimos por la segunda, el segundo uso de la voz pasiva? Cualquier persona, vamos, vamos. There is no doer of the action. Chicos, vamos, rompan el hielo en español. No hay... Uh -huh. What is... No hay quien haga la acción. Es como que no hay un responsable que haga la acción. Excelente, muy bien, Vanessa. Sí, eh, esa es la respuesta. Eh, perdón, perdí el nombre. Douglas, no, Ronald, se me fue. Ok. Eh, sí, esa es la respuesta. ¿Qué quiere decir doer? El hechor, hechor, el que lleva a cabo la acción. Salomón creo que era. Ok. Ese es, o sea, en este, en la voz pasiva no existe, o a veces no importa, como veremos en los siguientes ejemplos, quién realizó la acción. Podemos hablar en la voz pasiva, que no es un tiempo gramatical, sino es otra forma de hablar nada más, sin importar quién llevó a cabo la acción. Como en todas estructuras que habías aprendido hasta ahora, probablemente, primero, toda estructura en positivo empieza con un sujeto. Ahora vas a empezar con un objeto, porque el objeto es en el que vas a hacer énfasis. Mira, empezas acá, he was killed in an earthquake. Él fue matado o asesinado en un terremoto. ¿Quién lo mató? No sabemos, solo sabemos que él, él es el objeto de nuestra oración. Y que fue matado es la, es, es la situación más imperativa, ¿no? There is no doer of this action. Y la tercera, vamos a ver. The fact is more important than the doer of the action. Lo que acabo de decir, ¿qué dice ahí? ¿Quién entiende el tercer punto del uso de, de la voz pasiva? Dice algo así como que es más importante el evento, el hecho, que el hacedor el uh -huh. que hizo la acción. Que el hechor, el hechor. El sí, hechor. El, que, el que hizo uh -huh. la acción no importa, sino que the fact... El hecho, lo que ocurrió, es más importante que quién llegó a cabo esa acción. My dog was run over by a car. Yo no vi quién atropelló al chucho. Pero dice, mi chucho fue atropellado por un carro. <ríe> ok. Eso es lo que dice. O sea, importa más la acción que quién llevó a cabo la acción. So, let's continue. Y para cerrar el video, eh, pues aquí se les da la clave. Si sí, no se les olvide. Was, where... La voz pasiva, y esto lo voy a decir ahorita, que les quede claro. Tu auxiliar en la voz pasiva es was, where. Perdón, es el verbo to be. El verbo to be. A ese le vas a agregar la negativa. ¿Cuál es la negativa, somebody? Not. Exacto. Le vas a agregar la negativa, pero eso es una negativa. El verbo to be lo vas a traer al principio si quieres hacer una pregunta. El verbo to be lo vas a conjugar en presente, pasado, futuro. O presente perfecto, pasado perfecto, presente continuo, pasado continuo. El verbo to be. A él, le va, él se va a ver afectado por el tiempo gramatical en la voz pasiva. Ahorita vas a ver varios ejemplos. Y para cerrar el video... Y por eso estoy hablando en español porque quiero que quede bien clarito esto. El único requisito que, tú, que se te pide, que se te exige, se te demanda en esta, en esta um, ¿cómo se dice? En esta beca, es que vayas a la plataforma y realices los ejercicios. Después de esta clase, te metes a la plataforma unos 15 minutos y escribes esas tres oraciones en el foro de discusión. En cada video hay un foro de discusión abajo del video. ¿Sí? Entonces tú te puedes meter ahí y escribir en voz pasiva estas tres oraciones. Mom prepared the food. ¿Ok? All the employees read the memo. The boy ate the cake. Esas tres oraciones van en, en el foro de discusión en voz pasiva. ¿A dónde? Aquí. ¿Ok? Te vas a add a post. 
discussion. Y luego el tema. Aquí sería passive voice el tema. Y luego vas acá y le das submit. ¿Ok? Good. Y después de esta actividad viene un knowledge check. De multiple selections. ¿Ok? Así de simple. ¿Ok? So, espero que realicen esos ejercicios. Es lo único que se les solicita en este curso. So, let's continue talking about the passive voice. ¿Ok? I have a small presentation for you. Let me go ahead and share it with you really quick. Okay. Okay. So let's continue talking about the passive voice with by. How do we do this? Okay. Let's make sense. Okay. Rosa escribió un libro. That is simple past. Un libro fue escrito por Rosa. That is passive voice. Okay, now it's your turn. Can you translate these two sentences? Anybody? Go ahead. Feel free. Rose wrote a book. Perfect, Janet. Rose wrote a book. Repeat. Rora, Rora, Rora. Rora. Rora, Rora book. Okay, Rose wrote a book. Rose wrote a book. Perfect. Now, what is the passive voice? A book was written by Rosa. Perfect. Now, tengo una regla. Solo puedes participar una vez. Ah, no sabía. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. So, Nuria and Janet. That's it. Okay. No. Ahora necesito que los demás de la clase participen. Si no okay. se equivocan, si ustedes no se equivocan en la clase, es decir, si no hablan y se, y, y se equivocan, yo no tengo trabajo que hacer aquí. Okay. So please okay. make mistakes. Everybody. Okay. Don't okay. worry. Let's go with the next. Maybe. Uh, yeah, you see, Rosa wrote a book. A book was written by Rosa. Let's go with the next one. Anybody other than Nuri and Janet? Carlos, turn off the TV. Who's talking? Veronica? Good. Yeah. Okay, passive voice. The TV was turned off by Carlos. Simple. Now listen. The present of that phrasal verb is turn off. Turn off. Now the past, the past, and the past participle is turned, turned, turned off, turned off. Uh -uh. Turned, turned off. Turned, turned, off. Turned, turned, turned off. So Carlos turned, 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 turned off the TV. The TV was turned off by Carlos. Turned off. There you go. Thank you, Veronica. No more, Veronica. Let's go with someone else. El perro destruyó la manguera. La manguera fue destruida por el perro. <laughs> Come on, come on. The dog destroyed the horse. Good, Rafael. Now? The, the horse was destroyed by the dog. Very good. Repeat. The horse. The horse. Horse. Mm -hmm. Horse. The dog destroyed the horse. The horse was destroyed by the dog. Very good, Rafael. Great job. No more Rafael. Next one. El vecino cortó nuestro árbol. El árbol fue cortado por nuestro vecino. Reyes. Hmm. Come on, guys. You can do it. El vecino cortó nuestro árbol. Okay, no volunteer. I'm going to choose a victim. Uh, I am teacher. You're a victim. Am, Thank you, Noé. Uh, I am the victim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, let's go. Uh, the neighbor cut our tree. Um, the passive voice is the tree was 
cut by our neighbor. There you go, Noel. Thank you. Yes. The neighbor cut our tree. Listen, the neighbor cut our cut our cut, cut our, our cut our tree. Cut our tree. The tree was yeah. cut by our neighbor. The tree was caught by our neighbor. So in these sentences, it's not important who did the action. The tree was caught. The tree was caught. Cortaron el palo. The tree was caught. Who did it? Our neighbor. Okay. The house was destroyed. La manguera fue destruida. Who did it? I don't know. The dog. By the dog. Okay. You got it? ¿Sí se entendió esa parte? Yes, teacher. By. Ese by is irrelevant. It's optional. Now, what's the structure? Y aquí me voy a detener un segundo porque necesito que ustedes empiecen a hacer algo con lo que les envié. Les envié dos listados de verbos que voy a reenviar después de nuestra sesión. Inmediatamente después, por WhatsApp, voy a reenviar los listados de verbos. Esto es opcional, ¿eh? Lo de la, lo de la plataforma sí es estricta. Um, es importante que lo cumplan. Llenar todo lo de la plataforma. Si lo pueden hacer antes de las siguientes dos semanas, perfecto. Y me pueden escribir a la hora que sea, yo voy a estar apoyándoles a la hora que sea. Yo me acuesto típicamente a las 11, 12 de la noche, me levanto como a las 5. Eh, todos los días agarra cinco verbos y cinco palabras relacionadas a esos cinco verbos. De cada verbo y cada palabra vas a ir agarrando, vas a ir escribiendo positivo, negativo y pregunta, ¿qué tiempo gramatical? Pues ahorita estamos viendo la voz pasiva. Pero si hubo algo en de lo que ya has estudiado, lo que sea, el presente simple, el pasado simple, lo que sea, tú lo vas aplicando. El lunes puedes hacer futuro, el martes puedes hacer la voz pasiva, el miércoles puedes hacer futuro. Y siempre, siempre, cinco verbos diferentes, cinco palabras diferentes relacionadas al verbo. Y por cada una vas a hacer positivo o negativo pregunta. Ese método lo inventé en el 2016 cuando estaba con Noé, eh, medio empezaba yo en esto de, de las clases de Insta, no, ya llevaba dos años con las clases de Insaforp y ha funcionado, funcionó para una academia, se hizo famosa la academia y pues es muy efectivo ¿por qué? porque de cinco verbos y cinco palabras se te van a quedar dos verbos, dos palabras hey, pero hasta ahorita no has hecho nada y dos verbos y dos palabras diarias, créemelo tu cerebro las va a absorber y no te vas a dar cuenta ok, so we'll talk about that what's the structure for the passive voice? This is the grammar structure. You have an object, a book, okay? A ball, to be. It can be was or where, okay? In this case, it's was, a book, singular, a book. The books, where, okay? The past participle, so the, the third form of the verb, written, okay? By is optional, this part is optional. Because I can say, a book was written, right? Can I say that, Rafael? A book was written. Can I say, a book was written? Rafa? Okay, no mute. Uh, okay. ¿Puedo decir, uh, uh, ¿Puedo decir, Rafa, un libro fue escrito? Yes. Yeah, right. ¿Importa quién lo hizo? No. No, sometimes it doesn't write. So, by Mary. And this is the structure. Just replace every particle. Eso se trata en inglés, de ver y reemplazar partículas dentro de una estructura gramatical, okay? Let's look at some examples. I need you to identify the passive voice in this lecturing. So first, you are going to read for me, okay? I need a volunteer. <laughs> Can I teach her? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> Nuya. Okay. Just the first, just the first paragraph. Go. Okay, perfect. Police were called to Banco Salvadoreño yesterday. The bank was robbed at 11:30 a.m. Two million dollars was stolen. No customers were hurt, but a robber was shot by police. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, Nuria. Uh, repeat. Robbed. Rob. Listen. Rob. 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 Robbed. Rob. Robbed. Robbed. There you go. Rob. So complicated. Robbed. Robbed. No. Robbed. 
Okay, th that's the ED ending of Probably. the regular verbs. Please check the verbs list that I send you. The okay. verbs list. On the regular verbs, you will find a column with the pronunciation of the past and past participle of the regular verbs. So you say work, you say worked. Work. Mm -hmm. Worked. Okay, you say rub. You say rubbed. Rubbed. You say save. Saved. In past, saved. 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 Okay, saved. The, the, the. Saved. There you go. You see? Saved. That's okay. the way. Thank you. Let's go with the second Thank paragraph. You. Thank you. Let's go with the second paragraph. Um, Rudy. The bank robber uh, weren't found. Many girls were left at the bank. Many, many clues were left at the bank. At the bank. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Over, um, over 15 bank users were taken at Hostage and were interviewed by the news media, and they all mentioned how the cameras were shut down by the viewers with six. Excellent, very good, Rudy. Repeat clues. Clues. Okay, you have clues. 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 Ready? Clues. Thank you. Repeat. Hostages. 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 Okay. Repeat. Interviewed. 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 Again. Interviewed. Interviewed. There you go. Interviewed. Okay, and that's it. Oh, thieves. Sorry. The thieves. 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 There you go. Thieves. Okay. Super rápido. En español no existe. En inglés no existe la tilde, verdad? No existe la tilde en el inglés. Lo que existe es el estrés de la sílaba. Es decir, cada palabra en inglés tiene estrés en una sílaba nada más. Cuando veas una palabra nueva, ¿sí? Agarra un lapicero de color, escribí la palabra con un color negro y encima le pones dónde va el estrés cuando la escuches. Por ejemplo, interviewed. Ahí va el estrés. In, interviewed. Mm. Solo hay un estrés por palabra. Si tú lo identificas, ya no vas a tener problemas a la hora de pronunciar esa palabra, ¿ok? Hostages, hostages. Hostages, okay? Good job. So, okay. let's continue. Can you identify the passive voice in this text? Uh, Juan Hernandez, please identify the first passive voice. In the first. The first line, and then we will continue. Um. The police were in the banks. Yes, um, but hmm. um, okay. No. 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 Okay. Let's go with Ronald Stanley. Identify yes, the is, first. Is the van was wrong at eleven thirty a.m. Uh, 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 okay, remember, the passive voice, you need an object, and then the verb to be, and then the past participle of the verb. So the first sentence will be, police were called. Okay, that's the first sentence in passive voice. Police, the object. Okay, oh, this is not a pen. Police were called. Okay. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, good. Let's continue. Let well, let me go with again with Ronald. Ronald, can you identify the second one? What is the second sentence with the passive voice? The bank was robbed. Perfect. The bank was robbed. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, the bank was robbed. Okay. Let's go with the next person on the line. Rafael Escobar. And then we have Veronica and then Eleonora, if your microphone works. Uh, $2 million was, was stolen. Uh, $2 million. Where uh -huh, was stolen. $2 million was stolen. Very good. Okay. Sí. Next. Yes. Uh, yo no entiendo por qué la primera esa police work call es, es voz pasiva. Okay. Sí. Ajá. Bueno, no, sé, no entiendo por qué voz pasiva porque en la estructura siempre usaba el was. Y el, ah, ya, ya, es que el word es porque es solo singular. Ajá. Plural singular, yeah, remember. Ah, por eso no lo había identificado. <laughs> was uh -huh. singular, where plurals, segundas personas. So, repetí conmigo, Ronald. Uh, espérame, déjame ver. Sí, repetí. I, you, we, they. I, you, we, they. Ya me equivoqué, espérate. <laughs> ok, a ver. I, he, she, I... it. No. Dale, I... Ronald. I, he, she, it. I, he, she, I, it. He, he, it. Was. Was. You, we, they. You, we, they. Where? Where. A ver, más rápido. I, he, she, it, was. I, he, she, it, was. Was. You, we, they, where? You, we, they, was. Where? Where, where. where. Sí. Esa es una manera de aprendértelo rápido. I, he, she, it, was. You, we, they, where? I, he, she, it, was. You, we, they, where? Un pequeño problema. Ok. Good. Ok. Let's continue. So let's identify really quick, guys, uh, the, the passive voice. Let's continue. What's the next one? No customers. Hey. Mm -hmm. Edgar. <gasps> Who? Charlie, no. Okay. Guys, this class uh, will be boring if I continue speaking, so you have to talk. Um, Delmi, can you identify the next uh, passive voice? Yes, teacher. Uh, no customers were hurt. That's it. Very good. Thank you, Delmi. Okay, Edgar? A rover was shot. That's it. Excellent. Let's go with Salomon. The bank's robbers weren't found. Perfect. They weren't found. See, that, that's a negative. They weren't found. Okay. Thank you, Salomon. Jasmine and then Vanessa. Okay, Jasmine, Vanessa. Uh, many clues were left at the bank. Huh, uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Many clues were left at the bank. Okay, and then we have over 15 users, over 15 bank users were taken, were taken. So you have take, took, taken, right? Take, took, taken as hostages and were interviewed. Interview, interviewed, interviewed. Viewed by the news media and they all mentioned how the cameras were shut down. Were shut down. Okay, shoot, shut, shut. Shoot, shut, shut. Okay, by the thieves with sticks. What's thieves? Okay, let me stop for a minute. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta en cuanto a la gramática que estamos aplicando o alguna palabra nueva en este texto? 
teacher, mm -hmm. uh, what mean clues? What is the meaning of clues? Pistas. Pistas. Clues, clues. Pistas. Clues, yes. Pista de blue. Pista de blue. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you have never seen Las Pistas de Blue, the dog? No? Yes. yes. Okay, Blue's Clues. There you go. Uh huh. I don't know what mean hostage. 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 Re rehen. Rehenes. Rehenes. Very good. Hostages. Hostages. Mm -hmm. So they were taken as hostages. Good. Any other? Sticks. 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 No. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you asking for thieves, Juan, or sticks? Sticks. Okay, sticks is what your wife uses. What your wife uses with you. Stick. You know, no? Mm -mm. Un palo. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Los palos, okay. The sticks. With sticks. The cameras, is it? The cameras were shut down. Bah, bah. By the thieves with sticks. What's thieves? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. What do you mean robbed? Robbed, okay. Robbed, robado. Rob, robar. Robbed, robado. So you have robbed, robbed, robbed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I think you're not following something very important and you may have not, you may not remember that. Okay. So let's play a game really quick. If I say, if I say escribir in Spanish, what is the past of this verb? What is the past in Spanish? ¿Cuál es el pasado de escribir en, en español? Escribió. Eh, ajá, sí, ¿verdad? Escribió, uh -huh. escribí, ajá. So, ¿Cuál sería el pasado participio? No me Escrito. Decir, sí, Escrito. No me vayan a decir escribido, por favor. Ok. <risa> Escrito, thank you. Ok. Um, tomar. Tomó. Tomó, tomé, ajá. Tomado. Tomado. Tomado, ahí sí, tomado, ok. Ok. ¿Qué? Okay. This is too small. Pensó. Pensó. Ok. Pensar. Ajá, pensé, pensó. Pensado. Pensado. So, what you're using, lo que estás ocupando es esto. La tercera forma de la conjugación de un verbo. Okay. In other words, como dijo Frank Sinatra, in other words, dentro de lo que le voy a enviar, que ya se los envié, es el pasado participio. El dolor de cabeza. Ups. Si ¿Sí estoy compartiendo. No. Eh, ¿Logran ver el listado que acabo de poner en la pantalla? I can no. see. No. O es no. aún están viendo el documento no, de no Word. Ok. No, están viendo el documento de Word. Ok. Really quick. Esto okay. se los envió a su chat. Sí. La, fue, la, tercera, la tercera forma del verbo es lo que ustedes van a utilizar. Ok. So you have bend, 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 bet, 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 bind, bound, bound, bite, bit, bitten, blow, blew, blown. Estos son verbos oh. irre, irregulares. Cambian por completo su forma. Pero si te mueves hacia abajo en el documento que tiene nueve páginas, vas a encontrar los verbos regulares. Y los verbos regulares no cambian su forma en el pasado y el participio es el mismo pasado y participio. Entonces, ojo, act, acted, y el participio también es acted, add, added, uh, aid, aided. Y ojo, la pronunciación que le decía Nuria, los al ed, en los verbos regulares solo agregas ed, ¿verdad? 
Pues esa ED tiene una pronunciación especial. Puede ser ID, puede ser T, t, t o puede ser D, D. ¿Ok? Annoyed, answered, appealed, appeared, arranged. Teacher. Yep. I have a, a question. Mm -hmm. Question. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you share this PDF in WhatsApp or a yeah, I did. another? I did. <laughs> sí, lo hice. Es lo que les estoy diciendo. O sea, nomás terminamos la clase, se lo voy a volver a enviar para que ustedes puedan practicar. Porque necesito que empiecen. Vamos a ver si esta cosa me abre. Porque necesito que continúen, retomen urgentemente. Eh, les voy a dar un ejemplo. Aquí está en solo. Ok, hace cuatro años inventé esto. Sé que no van a poder verlo, pero... Ok, chicos, ya nos pasamos el tiempo, pero creo que es urgente que vean esto. Ok, bien, señores, ya para cerrar la clase. Si ustedes quieren aprender rápido, número uno, llenen la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eso es crítico, lo tienen que hacer, hacer los ejercicios. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me escriben, no importa la hora que sea. Número dos, agarrar un cuaderno y dedicarlo solamente a esto. De lunes a domingo, yo agarro cinco verbos y cinco nuevas palabras todos los días. Usa tu existencia. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué estás comiendo? ¿Qué estás viendo? Todo lo que veas a tu alrededor se puede decir en inglés. El lunes, agarra el presente simple, si querés, o sentís que te cuesta todavía en terceras personas, puede ser. O agarras la voz pasiva, o el pasado, el futuro. El tiempo que tú quieras, tú lo distribuís en base a tu tiempo. Eso es lo primero. Disciplinate, organiza tu tiempo, ¿ok? Y empezás, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Un verbo, una palabra. Agarro otro verbo y otra palabra, ¿ok? Agarro otro verbo y otra palabra. Y vuelvo a hacer positivo o negativo pregunta con ese nuevo verbo y esa nueva palabra. Es decir, esto yo lo voy a hacer cinco veces con un verbo diferente y una palabra diferente. Positivo o negativo pregunta. Yo cambio el sujeto, cambio la palabra, ya cambio el verbo. Cinco veces, cinco verbos, cinco palabras. ¿Ok? Luego el martes vuelvo a hacer lo mismo. Pero esta vez cambio de tiempo gramatical, cambio de verbo, cambio de palabra. Y todo lo que voy escribiendo ocupo colores donde creo que se me olvida. Si me equivoco en algo, lo subrayo con colores. Porque tu cerebro ama los colores y se va a grabar más rápido la información. No me creas a mí, eso es ciencia aplicada desde hace seis años. Lo vengo aplicando y funciona. ¿Sí? Tu, tu cerebro va a absorber la información sin que tú se lo exijas. ¿Ya? Y eso funciona. Y ahí vas. Todos los días haces eso. Y ahí el viernes puedes usar conectores. Si te hacen falta conectores. Si yo te digo, mire, usted necesita practicar preposiciones. Tratite, tratamos de practicar preposiciones. Two, four. ¿Verdad? Que tanto dolor de cabeza nos dan. Agarra un libro. ¿sí? Hay miles de maneras de practicar. Pero no se les olvide. No dejen de lado la plataforma. Y eso es una dieta, lo que les acabo de explicar. Si gustan que les explique un poco más, mándenme un mensaje y yo estoy ahí disponible para ayudarles, ¿ok? Yes, me. Oh, ya, okay. Pueden Thank you. Ya, ya pueden del todo. Yo no sé. Yes, me. No. Can you share this in the WhatsApp? Yes. I will send it to you on the WhatsApp group. Eso es una dieta muy aparte del curso. Es para ayudarles un poco más a reforzar contenidos que tal vez ya vieron, ¿ok? Igual, mándenme un mensaje directo. Prefiero que me manden un mensaje directo. Ahorita en WhatsApp les voy a enviar el listado de verbos nada más. Pero eso ya es mi metodología. Envíenme un mensaje directo y yo se los envío con gusto, ¿ok? Thank you. Okay. Una consulta y todos estamos incluidos en ese grupo de WhatsApp. Si usted aceptó la invitación que se le envió, hay es un que, link. Fíjese que tengo problemas porque tengo uh -huh. que tener instalada una aplicación. Entonces, al menos a través de la computadora no puedo ingresar al grupo. No, tiene que ser por el celular, Nuria, para por aceptar eso. la invitación. Ah, ok. Entonces ¿Quién, voy tiene, a ¿Quién tiene el link de invitación? Si lo pueden enviar al grupo, por favor, alguien que ya está en el grupo, reenvíen el, el link para unirse al grupo, ¿ok? Ok. Yo se lo voy a enviar a Nuria. Bueno, creo. Ok. I... Ok. Good. See you tomorrow. Ok. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.